every major promotion, you know, you could think of I fought for. So that that's, you know, I mean, you know, not a lot of guys have done that in their career. And I did. I, I mean, and I, and I banked on myself, you know, I... There was fights I could have went back to UFC before I did, but I just had better offers on the table with like Strike Force or Bellator and Affliction, and I and I chose to go that route. If I could do it all over again, I would do it the same way. I mean, you know, it's, it's just you got to go with what you feel. It opened my doors up to what I'm doing now. I'm I'm, I'm an actor, stuntman, and it, I would have never known that that world even exists if I didn't, you know, train with people like Randy Couture and and then you know have people open my doors up until this whole other area that I didn't even know existed. That was another decision why I chose to retire at the time because I had that going on and I was like, you know what, let me make a run for it. Started on the bottom again like fighting. Had to grind, you know, my way up and, you know, had to learn, you know what I mean? I, I, thought, I, I thought I could act at the time. You know, I was fighting on pay-per-view. I'm like, oh, I could act. So they give me a script. Okay, do this audition. I'm like, um... Yeah, uh, Billy said, uh, you know, horrible. You know, the clowns coming out from out of the closet hit me over the head. What? <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Let me let me learn because I, you know, being on set, you get to, you know, be behind the scenes and see how they prepare, and it's a lot more than just what you see on screen. I was like, let me learn, and I started learning, and I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm not a natural. Stunts, uh, yeah, I mean, it's real physical. You could definitely get hurt. It's, uh, you know, again, that's why I said earlier that, you know, I had an 11-year fight career. I fought a lot, of 30 fights, you know, but I didn't get that much damage. I got a little, you know, little, little eye damage that I fixed, but my body's still good, which I need my body. You need your body for stunts because it's physical. And, of course, a lot of the stuff I get cast as is a fighter. Logan, yeah, we did. There was some, some hairy stuff on there. Guys were doing, you know, like a lot of ratchet pulls where there's like there's lines on you, you're getting jerked back, and of course a lot of physical stuff, just fighting and guys are like flipping and on their back taking hard falls. The stunt physical stuff was definitely a plus on that show. There's no type of feeling that you could even you know gauge from getting your hand raised in front of 20,000 people on pay per view and everybody you know chanting your name whatever. But there's similar feelings with, you know what I mean, some type of things you've done with this. I mean, I've drove a cop car. I was a, playing a cop down Madison Avenue <laughs> about 100 miles an hour by myself in the car. Cameras, you know, me and a, like a, a few of uh, cop cars were chasing. And I'm screaming to myself in the, in the car like, this is crazy. I can't believe this. I mean, they had the whole Madison Avenue shut down in New York City. And we're just, and I have a walkie talkie and they're like, faster. We need you guys to go faster. I'm like, oh, faster? Okay. <laughs> and with lights on, everything. I mean, I had the full cop gear, so that was kind of, you know, just situations like that. It doesn't feel like getting your hand raised in a fight, but it's, you know, it feels kind of cool. You can't fight forever. That's the, that's the thing, you know? So you have to have a plan B, you know? That's why people get depressed. You see all these NFL players now that, you know, or any athlete in general that, you know, the, that doesn't have anything going on when they retire and then just five years out, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're boozing, they're doing drugs or they're, you know, gambling, they're broke. It's terrible. It's sad. I, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to be an actor or stuntman after I retire. But when I saw the door, you know, was open a little bit, I kind of went for it 100%. You know, it fell into place for me, but I understand how you know, guys are just so focused on their career or what they're doing. When they retire, they have nothing going on. I mean, that's, it's understandable because you're trying to be the best at what you're doing. But in reality, you have to because it ain't forever. That window closes. 